All right, let's get started. I um, want to welcome everybody for joining us today. This is another one of our 20-minute webinar series uh, from Basic Codings, where we pick different pop, uh, uh, topics to go through. And uh, this week, our host is Phil Pitts, uh, New England Regional Sales Manager, I guess you admitted land, whole Northeast, covers the whole Northeast. Um, and uh, we are going to go through Emulsion Pro Plus. This is a new product um, that Phil will go through. And um, for those of you that have attended these things in the past, generally do like a five minute video and then we uh, get into a presentation and we turn it over to questions. Questions usually last five, seven minutes at the end of presentation. This 20 minutes goes pretty quick. And um, with that, I will turn it over to Mr. Phil Pitts. Okay, good oh, afternoon. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, forgot to tell people, if you move your mouse around on the screen, there's a little thing there for question and answers or checks or chat uh, thing. So if you have any questions, just type them in and uh, I'll ask them to fill at the end of the presentation. Sorry, go ahead. All right, uh, good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you live. Um, we're gonna re kind of review Emulsion Pro and our new Emulsion Pro Plus formula and uh, attempt, to answer, attempt to answer all the questions that we get every day when we work in the field and work in distributor events or trade shows um, in 20 minutes. So Emulsion Pro is a, a traditional oil look finish, but it's water-based. And uh, it, its primary uses are over red oak or even maple to achieve that old, old traditional oil look. Um, it also might be used as a sealer in conjunction with street shoe. So you'd use a couple coats of Emulsion Pro to get a nice ambering tone, and then you cover it up with street shoe, which is super, super durable, uh, you, you know, for, for long-term protection. Or you can use it as a straight finish, uh, three or four coats straight up on, on red oak or, or, or maple. Um, use it over brown stains. A lot of people think it, it, it adds to the look, or they use the word patina. Uh, over brown stains, they, they feel it enhances uh, a, a brown, the look of a brown stained floor. Uh, so it's all of these features of oil with the fast water-based dry time, okay? And we can roll this, we can T-bar it, we can apply it with a, a 12 inch pad, however you like to apply it. Uh, however you like to apply your water-based finish, uh, this material is super friendly. It's available in gallons and also five gallons. Uh, here in the Northeast, we sell a great deal of five gallon pails emulsion. Uh, if you're doing three coats of finish, a five gallon pail, uh, five gallon pail gets used up pretty quickly. So, so they're super handy. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at the new plus label, the new Emulsion Pro Plus label. It's basically the same label, the same green background. Uh, we have a plus uh, after Emulsion Pro, and uh, we've made some changes to our, our, our sheen descriptions. This, this image here shows uh, commercial satin. Uh, we've added the term commercial to all of our sheen or gloss descriptions, really uh, because everything we sell is a commercial grade product. And, and, and we felt that we weren't getting the confidence that we, that we wanted from builders, architectural and architectural design peoples, or even homeowners when we didn't have the term commercial on our labels. So uh, it, there's no change to the sheens. Uh, commercial satin is the same as the old satin in terms of how glossy it is. And, and it, it's just a new descriptor. Um, the label also has an emphasis on rolling as an emphasis on the look, the ambering, and the emphasis on it being a hybrid, a water-based, a water-based oil. So uh, we're really trying to highlight uh, the, the fundamentals uh, on the front panel of the label. An emulsion, some might say. It's an emulsion. A lot of people don't know what an emulsion is. I mean, the most common emulsion that we deal with every day is milk. It's basically an oil dispersed into water and that's what I, I didn't know that that's what it is okay so emulsion pro plus uh really has no odor and it has absolutely no flammability um there's you know there's no flash point to it 
if you get it on rags and you throw them in the trash, they're not going to, they're not going to ignite. Um, it's a great alternate to solvent based oil finishes, especially in high rise construction, multifamily, uh, or you just, if you have a customer or a client that's, you know, sensitive to smells or, or they're, they're super health conscious or, or, you know, just don't, you know, they're not comfortable with, you know, they feel like, uh, they feel like all coatings are toxic. This is a great one to use because it, it, it it's, it's barely noticeable. Yeah, this, um, this, this, this product actually, Phil, you and I kind of uh, debate back and forth, uh, kind of like the taste great, less filling kind of thing. So it really has two purposes, right? One is the color, which is a big thing. And then the other one is converting people from OMU, right? So certain people you're talking to them about converting them from other people uh, from OMU and other people you're just talking about the, the safety and speed and. Yeah. But don't, don't steal my thunder down, down, okay, to my, uh, you know, in my, in my, my big presentation here. Okay. So uh, uh, the one caution would, would say is don't use emulsion pro directly over a white Oak. Mm -hmm. um, it will, uh, it will pull tannins out of white Oak pretty quickly and pretty consistently. If you, uh, if you want that oil look of a white oak, seal it first with lock and seal, put your, put your first coat of Emulsion Pro on, and then, then buff your grain race down. And then you, you, then you can add your subsequent coats. Uh, don't use emulsion over white or light gray stains um, be, because it ambers, uh, that white is gonna discolor fairly quickly. And if, and if you have a, you know, a design sensitive client, they're probably gonna be unhappy if their white begins to turn a honey color. Um, emulsion is available in four sheens, uh, gloss, semi-gloss, sorry, commercial gloss, commercial semi-gloss, commercial satin, and commercial super matte. Okay. Um, the actual sheens or the, the gloss levels are, are reported on the label. Uh, so if you, have, if you have a client that says, what is the actual gloss of this? Is this the 95% or 50%? What is it? Uh, it's, it's on the label. Um, just in general. Of, of, of all the products. So if you buy gloss, it shows all the sheens of all the products. You buy semi commercial yeah. semi-gloss, it shows all the sheens. So just want to clarify that. All right. So semi-gloss and satin are the most common sellers in this product for, for what it's worth. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm going to clip on a video here. And this is, this is our new emulsion pro plus going down. This guy's hitting it really quick with a roller three eighths microfiber is what seems to be the preferred uh, applicator when you're going to roll it side to side, then back rolling. I mean, this guy is just hitting it and he's not, he's really not, uh, being too super super cautious. Yeah, he, he really is going fast. Yeah, and just just a note that floor looks like it has a it has a white tone to it or a white haze. That's not a stain or 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 a whitewashed floor. That is uh, that's simply a floor that that just that just got buffed. That's all. So it has that little white look to it. Uh, so yeah, just just to reiterate the emulsion pro as you saw in the, in the in the quick video really has improved handling properties really uh, improved defoaming and leveling properties cross grain rolling is fine you know herringbone you know or chevron just it, it, just roll it like like you would any other roll applied finish and it will level and defoam very very nicely um Hardness and abrasion resistant are all comparable with our existing product, which has been on the, on the market for a long time. Um, I mean, this emulsion is just a really uh, an economical workhorse. And uh, as Robert was trying to steal my thunder earlier, um, the emulsion, I like, to, I like to call it the gateway drug to water from oil. So uh, if you have if you have clientele that's looking for the look of oil, or you used to you used to you used to applying oil, emulsion is a great transition, uh, both cost wise, application wise, and look wise to go from oil to water. Um, 
you know, a lot of clients are saying now that they're so busy, they can't, they, they can't afford to use oil anymore. They, they don't have the time. They don't have the time to go back to a job three, three days in a row. Uh, or they don't want to drive an hour and a half, put on another coat and then leave. If you can drive an hour and a half and drop down two coats and then leave, that's a heck of a time savings. So uh, it is a gateway sort of a product from, to go from uh, oil to water. Yeah, I, I think that's your last slide, Phil, isn't it? No. There it is. Okay. There so, we go. Um, you get a double click. One click won't do it. Um, so just to kind of review, you know, what are the competitive products that we benchmark Emulsion Pro Plus against? Absco Grand, uh, Radiance, Duraseal, water-based polyurethane, Procoat, water and oil, Loba Hybrid, and Glitz Infinity. Um, so if you're looking for an offset or, or something to fall into that category, Emulsion Plus fits right in it very well. Um, I get the question a lot of times, particularly when people see this finish applied to a piece of red oak. Is this, is this oil or is it water? What is it? You know, it says, what is emulsion? It's oil is water. Well, it is oil, but it's oil modified urethane that's emulsified like milk into water. It's dispersed into water. So yes, it, it is oil and, and, and there is an oil component to it and there's polyurethane component to it, uh, but it's it's a water-based finish. Uh, you wouldn't apply it with a lamb's wool applicator. You'd only apply it with water-based tools. It's just the yeah, common it's, question. It's, 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 not as, it's not as thick of an oil as when you went, uh, you know, straight OMI. OMI is very thick. Yeah, there's a lot of odor. Um, th this flows like a water based, um, not like an oil. Yeah. So and then I'll get does it amber? Does it amber? Does it amber? Yes, it ambers. It ambers very quickly. Uh, you'll notice right away it'll darken, you know, your dark, dark grain components very quickly. And then it will begin to amber uh, more and more over the next over the next few days. Um, can I use it over stain? Again, it's great over a dark brown or dark colored stains, not over a white stain or a whitewashed floor. Uh, generally, we don't recommend it directly over stain over white oak uh, because we don't, we're concerned about tannin pull. In some cases, a super dark brown, it's fine, but be super, super cautious uh, if you're using light grays or anything like that. Uh, can I use it as a sealer? Again, uh, yes except for white oak, except for white oak. So that, that sort of sums up uh, Emulsion Pro and, and most of the talking points that, that we go through when we uh, discuss emulsion at our customer locations. And now we'll take questions. Okay. Uh, it, it, you know, some of these questions come up and I don't know whether they come up before you make a comment, but I'll just ask it anyway. Um, cause I think you addressed it, but, uh, why can't you use it over white oak? Uh, it, it pulls tannic acid out of white oak and it will discolor very, very consistently. Uh, some finishes do it more than others. Uh, th this one will pull tannin and white oak. Yeah. We actually use it as our control in the lab to try to see how much tannin pulls out of a specific board. Um, um, with your other finishes, you're allowed to add water. Can you add water to this? Sure, you can, you can add water, uh, but certainly, and especially with the Emulsion Pro Plus, there should be less need to add water. It defoams much better, um, dries slower, um, and, and levels much better than, than, the, than, than, than the standard old, older product. Can you mix sheens? Can you mix sheens? Um, sure, you, you, you could mix sheens, uh, but, but would probably recommend against it, uh, you know, unless, you, unless, unless what you're doing, you know, unless you're trying to use up a bunch of old emulsion and then you're going to top coat it with some satin or semi-gloss or whatever you want to achieve because you'll never be able to reproduce it coat to coat if you're, if you're trying to mix sheens. Just be careful. It's very hard to reproduce the end result if you mix sheens. Yeah, you want something that you can replicate, right? 
Yeah. So uh, I do have uh, a few guys that, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing things, but I do have a few guys that I talk to all the time that believe that if they use gloss on the first coat, um, that when they use uh, different sheens and the follow-up coats that it gives it a, you know, deeper, richer, more 3D kind of look. Um, uh, whether that's true or not, it's the eye of the beholder type thing. Um, I, I think if you put a coat down and put another sheen on top of it, you know, you're, that's more replicatable than trying to take gloss and mix it in with satin because you really don't like our semi-gloss, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. But, uh, but that's what I would say on that. And then uh, the other question is, can you mix products? And I think you referenced that already. Talk about using like Emulsion Pro as a base coat and street shoe on top of that, right? So. Sure. And I think, I think it's been stated that we really don't recommend mixing the, 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 the Emulsion Pro. I'm talking, when I say mixing, I'm talking about in, in, its the liquid, liquid form. in the liquid state with Emulsion Pro Plus. Uh, I, I, yeah. I think, I think we are uh, advising against that. Yeah. That'd be like mixing two products together, like street shoe with easy street. When you're applying it, you wouldn't do it. They're really like two different products. Yeah. Yeah. But you could use emulsion pro to get your color and then easy street on top of it or street shoe or pure mat, you know, depending on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You could use emulsion pro for your base coat and Emulsion Pro Plus for your top coat. If you happen to have uh, extra material in stock and, and, and you obviously want to work through everything, you know. Um, what is the dry time compared to OMU? Oh, dry time compared to ONU. I mean, it's, it's a water-based finish, right? So, so you, can, you can expose this, this stuff to light foot traffic in two to four hours, depending on your dry conditions, as opposed to you know, six to eight to 10 to 12 hours, depending on the OMU. And then there's another question that asks, is this Emulsion Pro Plus different than Emulsion Pro? Well, yeah. it, it, it's different in that it's, uh, it's a different formula uh, and, 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 and it has been improved. There was a raw, there was a change to from our raw, raw material supplier that was announced to us about two years ago, and we took that opportunity since we're going to have to change the formula to go ahead and improve everything and improve foam break and improve leveling, improve uh, you know uh, lap lines, improve uh, you know dry time, all of those all of those things. So this this stuff has been uh, been in the lab been in scale up and have been in the field for about the last year and a half uh, undergoing improvements. So it's the same product, the same category, but it's better. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it, it defoams a lot better, uh, abrades a lot better. Um, like you said, when you're, when you're, when you're revising a product, you want to make improvements to it. Well, that, that brings us within one minute of our time allotment. So as always, I'm going to do a cheap advertisement for us. We did a floor of the month, floor of the year contest last year. We're going to do this. At, well, we're doing the same thing this year. Uh, it's basically two different contests at the same time. One is a residential commercial and the other one is a sport uh, floor of the month contest. Contractor just takes pictures of their projects and uh, posts it on Instagram with the hashtag wood floor proud. And they're automatically entered. If you do not have an Instagram account, just go ahead and shoot those pictures to your sales rep and he'll do it for you. That we, we, we accept entries that way as well. The winner of each contest gets uh, $250 worth of free material, basic coatings material, um, plus bragging rights. And then they're automatically entered into the floor of the year contest. Uh, these are actually the winners of the floor of the year contest last year. This is a residential uh, project, raw sealer over uh, white oak. And this is a sport project where uh, we have hypertone stain uses a stain as well as a tint in our finishes. And there's actually no paint on this floor at all. It's either, it's either stain or tinted finish, different variations or different uh, percentages of uh, hypertone stain in the finish. And the winner this year for uh, commercial residential is a Primatech nail. It's the new uh, nailer gun that goes right up against the wall. 
And for sport, it's the same thing as last year, which is a custom painted uh, tape machine with the telegraphing arm to it. So with that, uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us and uh, participating. And uh, Mr. Pitts, as always, you did a great job. And uh, just want to thank everybody again for joining us and uh, have a good, safe weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.